I'll be the first to admit that I may not be refined or walk the inner circles of the art world, which is why the master's pupil flew under my radar until it was launched today. I was fortunate enough to stumble across this bloke called Pat Naum on Twitter, who turns out he lives just up the road. Now, a reminder to our international readers that just up the road can mean anywhere from 5 minutes to a 15 hour drive, and I thought I would check his game out on the eShop. Let's have a yarn about it. In what to me is the single most intriguing game description ever, The Master's Pupil is a game set in the eye of Claude Monet as he struggles to finish his works with the onset of eye disease. You play as a painted being that runs through a hand-painted and beautifully crafted world, solving puzzles and discovering art. These puzzles mainly consist of mixing sprays of colour to reduce the growths and progress further through Claude Monet's career timeline. While all of this may sound simplistic, there were so many puzzles that I'm ashamed to admit stumped me, which led to a greater sense of completion when I finally solved it. There's no dialogue or spoken worlds, and the story is told through Monet's art, so to speak, as well as enhanced by stellar sound choices and a beautiful musical score. It's a wonderful world and a game to get absolutely absorbed in, largely due to the fact that you feel like you are playing a painting. On that note, everything was actually hand-painted before being digitally added to the game, and it's just simply gorgeous. Although, I would have loved to seen a little bit more variation in level design, as I feel it can be a bit repetitive. There were some large set pieces that do mix up the optical, jungle, vine-like world, and I guess I just would have liked to have seen more, I suppose. The game is shorter than most, although I can see myself going back for another playthrough after I've gone through my back catalogue, as I would have liked to have learned more about Monet before I play again, so I can appreciate the artwork even more. That being said, my time with the Master's Pupil was an engrossing one. A visual delight that kept me enthralled with the setting, challenging puzzles, and a genuinely unique experience. Pat Naum Games has come out swinging with a very strong debut for an Aussie game studio, and his story is that of a true blue battler, taking a gamble, leaving his job to deliver one of the most unique games that I've ever had the joy of playing. If you would like to see more games like this that take risks for the reasonable price of $20, I suggest you put your money where your mouth is and get yourself a copy of The Master's Pupil. So, what's it like? The Master's Pupil is like an afternoon at the art gallery mixed with Little Big Planet. I award it a 78 out of 100. 